G'day, welcome back. If you're after a mediocre channel, you've come to the right place. So today we're looking at face refinement in DaVinci Resolve, something people spoke about about a year ago, and now I'm getting around to it, like all my videos, very late. Now, if you want to see something in DaVinci Resolve or you have any other questions, please comment below. I'm more than happy to answer them. And if you want to see anything, some color grading, or you want some films to be matched in terms of grading or looks that you are confused about or anything else involving color grading, even editing, then chuck those comments below and I will get back to you. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new node. So I was going to use this footage to do a color checker video. And as you can see, I'm holding the color checker upside down. So I'm going to have to reshoot it because I'm a professional. So I make really great mistakes. So we made a new node here. So we're going to go to effects. Now this is only for the studio version in Resolve. So if you don't have the studio version, I'm sorry. There is no face refinement for you. So let's go up to the search here and type in face, F-A-C-E. Now face refinement comes up, so we just bring it down onto our node here. Alrighty, so now we have a whole bunch of options, but the first thing we wanna do is analyze our image. So Resolve is gonna work out which part of this image has a face on it. Now I'm hoping it's gonna be this part and not this part here, but let's see how it goes. So just click analyze and it comes up with some <laughs> squiggly lines that looks like a four-year-old has drawn. As you can see, I have a fantastic smile going on and some other tiny smile going on. Again, it looks amazing. So we can check that show overlay off. So if you want to turn it off and on, just click this button here. Very simple. Alrighty, so if you want to see what part of the face it's hitting, just come down to show mask here and click this little box. Very simple. As you can see, it's come up with a nice looking image here. We'll take show overlay off. So this shows what part of the face it's hitting. Now, obviously I've been turned into the moon from the Mighty Boosh, which is a great show. So I'm not too unhappy about that. So we can just chuck that off. So again, just click show mask and that comes off quite simple. What we wanna do is we're gonna go through all this kind of stuff here and have a look. Actually, the first thing we're gonna do is press shift H. Now that's gonna go into effects mode. So we get a nice big screen and then we have the overlay just here. Now, if you don't know how to do that or you don't want to use shortcuts to do is go to view, come down to view overlay and then click open FX overlay. And that'll get you into this overlay here, but I'm all about shortcuts. So shift F for me. So, and now we have our adjustments here. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but what we can do is we'll just skip down to this one here. So texture now it has operating mode beauty automatic. So that means it's basically going to work it out for you. So if you push the amount up, then we put the scale up, that is increasing how much resolve is doing to our skin. So it doesn't look like much at the moment. But if we turn this node off and on, so that is beforehand. And that is afterwards. So as you can see, it's doing a fair bit, push the scale right up, and the amount right up. So again, that's off. And that's on and it's really just smoothing out our skin a lot and looks really bad. So we're going to reset that. Now we can change this operating mode to beauty advanced because we're advanced colorists after all. Now this is where it comes to all these other little things you can add. So we can go to smoothing threshold, which is making our skin look horrendous. So it's smoothing that skin out, but in reality, it seems to be blurring it out. And we have diffuse lighting. So again, it's diffusing the light that's hitting our skin. Doesn't look great, so we'll take that off. Texture threshold, it's not really doing that much. So we'll leave that one off, add texture. And if we put this add texture up and then we put threshold down. Okay, so these two are hanging out together. So as you can see, bring it right down, it's smoothing it out a fair bit. And adding it in is making me look like I am 89 years old. So we take both of them off. Now, if you wanna see what part of your face is being targeted when making these adjustments, all you gotta do is come up to highlight here. Now you wanna select A and B, which means highlight difference. So if we were to, let's say, add some texture in, it's hitting this part of our face. So we go down, it's hitting this area of our face. So it's a good way to see what part of the image you're actually hitting. So let's just reset that and we'll take this off. We don't really need it but it is good to know if you want to do it. All right, now let's go down to the color grading one. This is basically the same as color grading in your normal primaries. So if we add contrast in, then obviously we're getting a far more contrasty looking face. So we're really making those shadows a lot deeper, pushing those highlights up a little bit. And then we take contrast out. Obviously we're getting a less contrasty looking face and it looks again, really bad. Now mid-tone, we are brightening up those mid-tone areas. Now, if we go down the other way, 
Obviously we're darkening those mid-tone areas and we're getting a much darker looking face. Now color boost is again, same as primary. So we bring this up a very, very weird looking face. We bring it down. Obviously we're desaturating that skin. So if you don't know what color boost is, I made a video about it and we'll explain everything how it works. So again, tint is the same as primary. So if you go to the right, you're putting more magenta into your skin. And then if we go to the left, you're making your skin a lot greener. So this could be handy if you have some strange lighting conditions. I actually look a little bit red. So maybe we just push this down just a little bit. I'm not sure that made a difference, but that's not bad. Now, desaturate shadows is really strange because you would think if you go down, you're desaturating the shadows, but in reality, it's completely different. So if you go to the right, you're actually desaturating the shadows. As you can see, we are more desaturated in those darker areas of our face. But if we go to the left, then we are a lot more saturated in those darker areas. So that's a really interesting one. And just to be careful of that one, because you may think going down would desaturate. When in reality, going up desaturates. Now let's move on to shine removal. So if we bring shine removal down, as you can see, we're making our brighter parts of our image brighter. So actually adding shine in. But if we have a shiny part of our skin and we go to the right, as you can see, we're darkening that area. So if we go to highlight and then difference, it's targeting that area because that is the brightest part of our skin. So again, let's just take that off. We don't need it on and let's take it off. Now, this isn't amazing in my opinion, try and removal, but if you did have kind of a bright area, you could just bring it down and just try to fix that up. But it is a little bit tricky, but obviously we don't have bad shine. So this is completely fine. Now we have eye retouching. Now eye retouching to me is probably the best one out of all of them, but it is also the one you have to be the most careful with because it does a lot. So we have sharpening. So we bring the sharpening all the way up. As you can see, we have some very sharp looking eyes. And then if we were to brighten it up, as you can see, we are making our eyes look like some 90s vampire film. So it looks God awful. So we'll take brightening down and we'll take sharpening off. Now we'll push eye light up a little bit. It's actually hitting this part of our image. So again, let's go to highlight and difference. It's hitting that part. So it's brightening up just under the eyes. Now that's doing a fair bit. If we go off and on. So this is off and this is on. So that's brightening it up a fair bit. So we can actually add a little bit more brightness in to those eyes and that tiny bit of sharpening. Now, eye bag removal, obviously I have some nice crow's feet going on. So if we were to add in some eye bag removal, we are softening this area of the skin here. That's a little too much. I don't wanna look like I'm 30 years younger than I actually am. So about there looks pretty good. So let's go full screen for this one because this is a good one. <laughs> okay, so this, is, so this is off. And as you can see, I look like how I always look. And then this is on. So this looks obviously really bad. So we've gone way too far with this one. And that's why you have to be really careful with the eye one. It does a lot. So you want to do it as minimal as possible when it comes to this effect. So let's go back down and we'll just bring this sharpness all the way down and definitely the eye light down and definitely the eye bag removal. I think that's the big one. I don't think anyone's going to believe this image is real life. I think the eye light one is not too bad, but let's just bring it down a bit. Okay. So this is beforehand and this is afterwards. And I think that looks pretty nicely blended in. It's not too bad. We can actually even make these eyes a little bit brighter. So let's move down to lip retouching. And it's just like the color grading primaries where you're adding in saturation and you're adding in saturation to this lip area. Now it's a little bit hard for resolve because obviously I have a bit of a mustache going on and a bit of a beard, but it's picking it up pretty well. Again, highlight difference, not too bad. And then we can change the color of our lips. So if someone has some weird looking lipstick on, you can just do some <laughs> nice little hue changes there. Let's take that off. Upper smooth lip. I don't think it's really doing anything. Oh yeah, here's the problem with upper lip smooth is actually doing my mustache. It's not doing my upper lip, which would be this part here, obviously, but that's fine. Now, moving on to blush retouching. So this would be this area here. I don't actually have any blush on. I'm just naturally that handsome. So we can add saturation in. We're adding more saturation in, and then we can 
push up the size. So that means the size of the area that you want to affect. And then you can change the hue. So if I want to look like this, which looks fantastic, we can all admit to that. Now, maybe we just take this off. Um, we don't need to do any uh, blood retouching. I think it looks pretty good. You know, add a little bit of saturation in. Why not? Now, forehead retouching is great if you have some wrinkles, just like I do. I've seen a lot and done a lot. So all you have to do is come to smooth. That'll smooth out that area for you. And you can add saturation in, sorry, that way, or saturation out. So we'll just leave that as is. And again, the same, changing the hue, which is fine. Now we'll just take this smoothing down, maybe around about there, looks pretty good. We don't wanna to go too crazy with that one. <laughs> Let's move on to cheek. And again, cheek is the same as blush, so hue, can change it and then saturation so let's just go a little less actually now we have chin I'm not sure how this is going to work because I have quite a beard going on oh it's doing this part here I don't know if this is my chin but you're doing your best result that's all that counts and again same hue and saturation so we don't need that now if you want to blend this in you can go to a global blend which I think is usually like this so click this arrow here. And then if you want to take off the effect, bring it right down. So that means the effect is at zero. But then the further you go up, the more the effect is blended in to your image. So all the way up means that it's working 100%. So we go to, to let's say, around 50 or 500. That will be the effect is 50% in operation when it comes to this effect. So we're going to leave it at 100. Now we're going to go up to the eye and let's make a couple of little changes so i'm just going to brighten it just a little bit and sharpen it the smallest amount so let's go full screen and let's see what horrendous effects we have given our face so this is beforehand and as you can see i look amazing and not a problem at all with any part of my face and then afterwards as you can see we've just brightened up the eyes a little bit <laughs> we've had some uh forehead adjustments so obviously i've been to the surgeon and done a little bit of um injections into my forehead and a little bit of a blushing before I did this shoot. So that is base refinement. And as you can see, a little bit goes a long way. So just be careful when doing it. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I've been Drew from Ringo Productions and have a great day.